everybody, welcome back. Northern Lion plays Spelunky. You know, with our new never say die attitude, I thought, you know what would be fun? Is what if we checked out the daily challenge? And I, I skipped by whatever the heck that just said. Let's send it regardless. <laughs> Here we are on the daily challenge. Now, I believe the daily challenge is actually sorted by distance now rather than score like it's distance first the score second or sometimes not at all it's a little austin powers joke for you in case you're interested you can check out the movie yourself it's called austin powers international man of mystery not sure if you've heard of this one before delightful little satire romp what do you think there's a temptation for sure to use a bomb and see what's going on down there, but oftentimes there's like a cool secret shop, and oftentimes there's freaking nothing, dude. So we do have a, a, a pesky mole. So we're not gonna play the run any differently. Or at least it's not my intention to play the run any differently. Um, we'll just, you know, we'll, we'll tackle it in, the, in that new old-fashioned way for which we're very famous. I will say, early on, I mean, a pot and a ghost pot, I should say, and Monty, it's an incredible bargain. For a single bomb, that's a bargain. Should have, should have been able to get him. Let's be honest, we should have been able to get him. That's a dream. That's a dream come true. I'm even going to wait it out. Believe it or not, I'm going to wait it out because I, I was like, I don't want to mess with you. I think the first little TSN turning point... You know, the, uh, that's a little Canadian Sports Network analogy for you. But, you know, the first thing that's going to determine how well you do on today's daily challenge. Tell you right out the gate. It's going to be how you did on this section right here. It's going to be whether or not you spent the bomb necessary to get that first little cash injection. All right, so far so good. I already see that we have the... Uh, no. I already see... Glunk. That we have the key. Just be careful on that one. I already see that we got the key. Key's important. More important than the ghost pot. This is the ideal type of shop to see early on. Because that is jetpack potential. There is no jetpack, but it's always nice to encounter a bomb box early on. Well worth the money. You might say this is ridiculous, but honestly... Extra 500 bucks for, you know, 15 seconds of your time? I think it goes a long way. Potentially. I think it's worth it, at least. Okay. Just, you know, if we take our, our trademark, non-impulsive, methodical, and well-reasoned spelunky play, sorry, I could barely keep a straight face. If we take that with us, I definitely think we could achieve our goal on daily challenges. What's our goal? It's very simple. We could defeat our good friend Daniel. That's that's pretty much all you could ask for. I'd say we're we're very close to the same skill level. This is this is a tough one. I had a feeling we were gonna end up doing that, to be honest. Um, but I will tell you, I think it's worth the the robot rope. Very simple. Just play your cards right. That's very nice. Monty. Should be pretty easy. <laughs> but where's the... Okay, it's probably down there. So we definitely want this. I don't think we want anything else. The glasses can be good. But I'm not sure if it's necessarily um, that critical for us. It's a bit spicy there. I'll tell you what. We'll start here. Because this, this, you know, if you do this wrong, it could be the end of you. But it should be definitely doable. Praise uh, Baldi, by the way. Always praise Baldi here. Um, you can always use a bomb. And you know what? Now that I think about it, uh, I think it's well worth it. I think it's well worth a bomb here to not risk the whole run. Whether or not you can do it without doing it, without doing this, I should say. We did get 900 bucks out of it. Actually, then we got 1400 bucks out of it. And we'll take that as well. Okay, good stuff. Good to great stuff is happening right now. This, this stinks. 
I should have handled this a little differently. I don't want to whip it. I, th I think you use a bomb, but you really don't want it to break the ghost pot. I wonder, I'm like, hold on. If I could just... Why, why mess with it, right? Why would you ever mess with it? Just be cool, because I'm worried that it's going to set off when we go down here. That's exactly what I was worried about. But, although we didn't get the gold, at least we also didn't use a resource. So basically, you know, the rules of what's worth it and not, what's not worth it, basically I come up with them on the fly. So, yeah, sometimes I'm like, that was worth it when it wasn't, and sometimes I'm like, that wasn't worth it when it probably was. Like here, I'll tell you straight up, I don't think this Monty's worth it. Pretty, pretty prickly situation. So what do I want here? Honestly, the dream for me would be to bounce on this fool's head and then throw him downwards and, and trigger this stuff down here rather than spending a rope. Alternatively, I like that more because it's less risky. But now I'm realizing, as oh, probably as a result of my actions, I think I gotta use a rope to get back up there. Yeah, but that's okay. A, a rope for five grand, I'm still like, it's a pretty good deal in my book. Two torquies. Wouldn't it be sick if you could ride a torquey that's riding a torquey, dude? That would just, that would send me to the next level. We'll use a bomb for two HP. That's not even up for debate right now. Lost my confidence there. Okay, there you go. Thanks for the ropes. It's like a sign from a... It's like a sign... It's like a sign from above. Let's go. That's pretty good. All right, we're, we're fine, actually. So here's what I... I think you could do it now without spending a second rope. Looks something like this. <laughs> oh! Okay, we're, we're spending what I would consider to be an inordinate amount of time. But for five grand, is it worth it? In many ways, the answer to this question is no. But I've never let good sense get in the way of entertainment. Okay, this, this is great stuff. We gotta be a little quicker, we gotta be a little quicker because things are gonna move mighty quick. So it looks a little bit like this. Thanks for the meat. We're in. All right. Maybe not the most efficient use of resources, but still feeling pretty good. All right. Where are we going next? Good question. Uh, I honestly just feel most comfortable with the black market. And if we're doing dailies, you know, there's a, there's a level of competition involved. We owe it to ourselves. We owe it to ourselves to give it the best try possible. Like, that was pretty good, right? Nothing. Let's see what we got here. We should be looking for, like, skeleton keys. Not worried about it too much, though. So here's what I think you do. I think, I think you put your good friend Monty right here. And then I think we start getting in the habit of using a skull to choose our direction. So, like... Good start. I don't mind opening the path to Volcania. Okay. It must be the direction he's facing, right? Because we're, we're going to send them back to Volcania if we do this like this. <laughs> Can I just get you to like... Go to go all the way on this one. Yeah, like stop going halfway. No half measures, dude. There we go. So now, but like, you know, you might be like, just get the heck out of town. But now I'm like, I can kill him. <laughs> ah, we should just go. We should just go. Oh, but now he's like trapped on this side, dude. What a rip. I'm not going to throw Monty at him. 
I know we're not getting the skulls there now that I think about it. You know what? What if we just do that? Get them out of there? Go on our merry way. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. You know, live and let live style attitude. You know, the skulls broke, but, but no living creatures were harmed. Peter Singer can get on with his day. He doesn't have to bother us about it. We're good. We're good. So I would say so far, we consider this a successful daily challenge. Little light on uh, idols, but I see that that's about to change. Little light on items. That will change whenever we encounter our black market. Hello, Mati. 8 HP, pretty good for, for no Kapala setup. Don't know if I'm... At 8 HP, I'm like less willing to spend a rope. Here's the thing, you just, you scare me. Boomerangs kind of scare me in this game. But idols, not so much. We got a Torky as well, how about that? I think he died on the bounce, which is hilarious. Laugh it up. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I mean, you know what? That's what we call fast food. That's our exit anyway. Um, so I definitely want the ghost pot. Definitely want the boomerang still. Turkey's at the exit. Just take your time. Might be a little bit more worth exploring here. You never want to just say no to free gold. Like this, for example. You never want to say no to, you know... Child of the Forest, if you can, this is probably a key though, but I think it's a good setup. No? I was If that killed me, I don't know if I'd ever recover. What's going on here? I do, we get a crate in there. It's well worth the time investment. A little gold, a little risk-free gold. What are we at, 38 grand? It's not a ton of money, but we'll be at 48 once you factor in uh, the all the idol, I should say. So it's enough to get the hedget on top of some other goodness, per chance. And then, ooh, <laughs> just consider that the ghost pot's gonna be a part of it as well. Is we didn't need to use a bomb if we were gonna get a torch anyway, but relatively minor, relatively minor in the whole scheme of things. So are we? Yes. First, honestly, I like I like that. If you came back to life, you came back to life. You know what? A rope, just to make that a little bit more gettable? Who says no? Who says no? That's a lot of money in our pocket. Okay, we're looking for the Ujad eye. Starting to, you know, every... You might say the odds of it being on a given floor are the same. I, that's definitely true. However, once you know it's not on the floor past, then the odds of it being on the next floor go from 25 to 33. It's like a Monty Hall problem situation. So I hate that you guys are having a little having a little tete a tete there. Because boomerangs are frightening. If we could just maybe rinse and repeat that strategy a little bit. Because I do want to do the moon challenge. And the moon challenge does give you the matic. But if you could just like say what you need to say. Like say what you mean and mean what you say. And then get over it. That would be nice. Man I hate that this is gonna. It's gonna cost us so much time. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> now just stop moving on top of this thing. Ooh. Wasn't me. Okay, here we go. It's smart play. Smart play. Grab that clover real quick. It only costs you about a minute. We can also see, is this the black market? I really doubt it. We, we would have heard the blinking, and I think we heard a spider instead. Okay, you don't have a ton of time. Like, your clover time got eaten into in a big way. So just grab these gems in, like, the most efficient way that you can muster. Or ketchup. 
and then relish the opportunity to get a little bit of extra gold because we're going to spend that in a big way in the shop. Fried onions. Not too concerned about maximum efficiency use of the matic here. Kind of got what we were looking to get. Now we're, we're taking too much time. You know what? Give me a little extra gold. Give me a little extra sauce. Definitely we're at the point where it's paid for itself. Little extra never hurt. Little extra never hurt. Little gold dust, though, the, the particle physics on it, it flies around like crazy. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, that's completely fair. Probably missed out on, like, uh, enough gems to make people highly upset, but it is what it is. I do see that there's something else through there. I just don't think we got a chance at it. Um, we would still be hearing some, like, blinking were it, were it up there. I hate to say it, I think we gotta spend a rope. I see the bear trap. I see the pot of gold as well. Probably worth a bomb for a pot of gold is more about timing than anything else right now. And the lack of paste is like pretty bad. Nice try. We don't, we don't care for the leprechaun. We do care for the ghost pot. But it's... Admittedly, slightly spicy. And you know what? I think we want to buy ropes, too. I do not believe that we lost... Excuse me. Oh, I guess when you get the ghost, you lose the clover, and then you can't see the pot of gold? It's the most I've ever learned about this mechanic. I do... I see the idol. The idol on this floor may be inhospitable. A lot about this floor might be inhospitable. <laughs> Hello. Okay. You crunched it! I was gonna use that to throw it at the man-eater! Now I gotta throw this rock and if I miss I'm gonna get hit, dude. Okay, we're not gonna take a chance on that one. Wait it out. <laughs> there you go. Didn't have to be like... I mean, this is a dangerous situation. I'm going to guess right now that our uh, black market is on, f on floor four, unfortunately. It's just unfortunate because it's tricky, right? There you go. Okay. I think we're playing this pretty good. Pretty well, I guess I should say. Try to use proper English on this stream, even though I consider... Well, on this video, I should say. Even though I consider proper English to kind of be like a, a misnomer to begin with, but... We don't need to get into that. Careful. Don't throw the boomerang at him. We do not throw the boomerang... Uh, not in that direction, at least. That's what we in the business call timing. So, don't get me wrong. We like our little ghost pot alcove. I imagine we would have heard the blinking by now. I see the I see the crate. It's it's not easily makeable. That might do it though. It's blinking. Not sure I thought this one through. We don't have a lot of time. Let's explore up first. It's down. I bet it's I bet it's right down here. right there the ghost is coming dude I, I can't do it okay this is what this is what the video is gonna be now the ghost has shown up 
Clover, <laughs> you feel protected. Music's still a little spooky. I don't think he's heard of Second Ghost Pippin. Maybe grabbing this, and this, and these. How much money we got? 4,000? We out this. We out this. No paste. No paste is so bad, dude. No. Okay, that... Ah! We'll throw in another one here. I, I, I got so mad I went fuzzy. I'm a little annoyed just because, like, we found it right at the end, but... Whatever. It is what it is. Start me again. Maybe I hit cancel and that wasn't even... No, that was the daily. I mean, I, I took too much time. I'm not gonna deny that I took too much time. I think that was a very Derek Rich run, though. Like, I, look, I, I, I played a lot of Spelunky, too. I'm not in the business of complaining about it because it's an amazing game. And run variety is just kind of one of those things that, you know, not all the runs in this game are created equal. Sometimes you're gonna get amazing stuff. But, you know, and I mean, it is a daily, so everybody was on the same page, right? But no alters, um, no items, and very few idols that at least I saw might have ignored some. It is in my nature. It hurts, but you know what? We can, we can still put together, I mean, it's, an, it's a, a high yield Spelunky 2 video. Let's leave it at that. This, is, this has the potential to be a long one. Let's not count our chickens before they be hatching, though. While we're here, while we're here, just take them out. You can't always afford the extra 30 seconds as we just learned, but you can afford it right there. I th I'm very confident we can make that jump, but I don't really want to risk it for a single gold bar. Okay, he was already, he, he'd probably gotten hit by something, maybe an arrow trap earlier. And you know what? Easy floor, 15 grand in the bank. 4 HP because we weren't willing to prime a bomb for Monty, but otherwise feeling pretty good. It definitely looks like uh, this is Ujadai territory. And, you know, uh, as uh, promised, well, even though it was not promised at all, we're going to go to Volcania this time. You should probably take it on a, like, at a at run time decision. Praise Baldi, by the way. But this time we're going to go to Volcania. Anytime I die on my preferred path, I think it's time to... On the second attempt to mix it up a bit. You should be dead on that. Lucky me. Okay, dude. A lot of good utility there. What do I consider the most valuable items? Bomb boxes and jetpacks. Capes. Vlad's cape. Um, what's the most... Like... I, I, I took that damage, so I didn't take that damage. Over here. <laughs> Doesn't really make any sense, but just work with me. Compass, paste, son of a gun. Bombs, ropes, why not? Why not? We should buy everything. Wow, big spender. I'll remember you. Remember this. You so-and-so. All right. HP on the next floor. Very important. You know what? This should be good, because this should be a turkey floor. We wouldn't want to steal, but buying the shotgun... It probably costs, like, close to 20. Dude, honestly, I think we should take a stab at it. There's a little money here. We definitely should not steal it or kill her. 14,000. We should be able to... Even if it costs us, like, an extra rope to finesse it... This is what we got ropes for. I'm I'm so flabbergasted that they would let us go down here. That should do it. That's worth 1600. Look at that. Thanks for the gun, fool. I got to tell you, we probably want to take the torch <laughs> as well. No, we'll just use a bomb to get the torquies. That's okay. Almost, almost cancel Christmas right there. But a gun is like a very valuable tool in this game, dude. That's why it's like a huge advantage when the shopkeepers give you one for free. 
I mean, we could just kill Yang. Everyone gets mad at me because I'm like, oh, don't kill Yang. He might aggro you on the black market. Then they go, Yang's not a shopkeeper. He's just one dude. I didn't realize that. I thought Yang was kind of like the role that was held by the person who was the keeper of the torques. Didn't realize that there's only one Yang out there on planet Earth. Anyway, there's the, there's the Yang hole. So we'll consider it may or may not be plausible. He does have a crate, like... I think we gotta... I think we gotta lower... the idle trap first. Then maybe we can just use the shotgun jump to get up on the idle trap. Like, I'm worried that thing would could have screwed it all up for us. Yo, this is like... Incredibly high yield over here. Okay, so you got to make a decision like mighty quickly. So here's the way I see this going. We do this. We probably don't kill Yang. We accept that his crate is lost to the sands of time. If we have enough time, we might consider it. But instead of killing Yang, if we could get this. And then it, this, by the way, being Monty, our best friend in the world. And move the ghost pot onto our side, at least. And then... Also grab that. And then, you, exactly, that's what I was worried about. It's going to take us a little longer to get up there now. It's a little bit more finicky. Did we, yeah, because, do we leave a turkey behind somewhere? Did I leave a turkey over here? I don't know what I did with the other turkey. Whatever. No, 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 that's fine. That's, that's, this is the way it should be. It's the way it should be. Now, you know how it goes. We can definitely murder Quillback. We'd prefer to murder him without also blowing up his bombs. May or may not be possible. Cause it's just, it's all about whether like one random pellet ends up hitting his, uh, I was gonna say his you know what, but that is not what I mean. <laughs> oh baby, the shotgun jump master is logging on. Um, It's all about whether or not a random shotgun blast tags one of his bombs and blows it up. We can take our time. It's, it's so nice. I told you I was going to Volcania, dude. Come on. I mean, don't make me stick you, dude. It's so nice to have a gun, but not want to murder shopkeepers. There we go. He's dead. That's that's just the dream right there. So I, I would love to get Monty. Um, it's, you know, it's not impossible. It's kind of uh, annoying. But impossible and annoying are two different things. Hold up, hold up. I'm like... I think if you... Absolutely... Play your cards correctly. You know what? I think it's worth the rope. I think it's worth the rope. And I think we are fools to have considered whether or not it was worth the rope. Send him off on his merry way. It's not like we gotta escort him through a big floor. Like, this is it's It's over. I mean, if you, if you can't find space in your hands for a friend, but you got a gun... You gotta re-examine your relationship with things. So, hold on, we gotta... It's kind of a... No, it's fine, it's actually fine here. We just gotta... We wanna minimize our use of ropes on the way back. And I think this will be a, an acceptable way to do so. Blast him. Blast him. <laughs> like I said, I'll get bored with a little help from me friends. No! I just wanted to shotgun jump, dude! Do you need anybody? I just need someone to love. So I don't trust that area anymore. Because if I was worried that ladybug was gonna light on fire at the worst possible moment. Well worth it, in my opinion, just to be safe. You may argue and you may be right that we didn't have to do it. 
but I'm surely glad we did. Sorry, a little, just need a little focus from time to time, right? So that's our Van Helsing hole. Probably, this is a much harder floor than the jungle to get the altar, or to get the idols on, in my opinion. You think it's him? No, that's him. What's this shop, dude? It's... In my opinion, it's not worth the bomb right now, but I understand the, the reasoning. Okay, should be should be totally clear. Just don't yeet it into some lava accidentally, and you're pretty much good to go here. So Vlad's cape should be potentially in the cards for us, which is exciting. Money is not... I guess, like, that's the thing. Is Sure, it's probably a little harder to get um, the idle here but at the same time money is much less of a an object that we desire coming out there bad tusk is gonna hate me for this one i don't know why tusk is mad about that i guess tusk is a big fan of dracula wouldn't surprise me a lot of people have got like a vampire thing I don't fully understand it, but I some, some Europhilism, I suppose, which I can understand, I guess. Okay, is Drill Baby Drill territory here? And I'm not talking about Alaska. We do have an altar for the first time in a bit. Now, you're just, you kind of hope against hope there's no shop or incredible pool of lava. Which I now deliberately say weirdly just to mess people up. And I'll do and I do it again! Bop bop! Try not to anger Kali unnecessarily. You know what? I wouldn't even risk dumping anything that is not gonna give us the dream. By which I just mean to say, like, I What do I care about dumping like one like two favor unit. We'll just wait for our next damsel. There's too many fiery creatures here. A little worried about that TNT. I have it on good authority that it's dynamite. I'm not leaving. Don't panic. I just want to... Like, this is a very dangerous situation here. Because, like... A, a unit of fire could fall on us. Lava could drip on us. For example, um, Volcania. It's a lot of fun. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.